Bowflex. Bowflex Select Tech 2080 Stand with Media Rack Assembly Video. In this video, we will show you how to assemble the stand with the barbell and curl bar set already assembled and the stand with the barbell curl bar set not yet assembled. If your barbell and curl bar set haven't yet been assembled, you may skip to the second half of this video. Otherwise, you may proceed. Before you begin the assembly, please make sure you read the assembly manual thoroughly as it contains important safety warnings and assembly tips. Please refer to the Bowflex Select Tech 2080 Stand with Media Rack Assembly Manual for complete safety instructions. Begin by selecting an area where you are going to set up and operate your stand with Media Rack. For safe operation, the set must be located on a hard, level surface. Please allow a minimum work area of 83.3 inches by 47.8 inches. Always try to maintain a minimum of 12-inch clearance around the Media Rack assembly. Start the assembly by checking the parts list. These parts are for the assembly and installation of the stand for a barbell with curl bar set that is already assembled. A 3mm and 6mm Allen wrench tool is included with your assembly. These next steps are for the barbell with curl bar already pre-assembled. Step 1. Assembling the uprights. Begin step 1 by locating the left upright assembly, part 3. Next, locate the stabilizer, part 1, and place it underneath the upright, matching the two holes on the upright plate. Secure the stabilizer using two part A screws, two part C spring lock washers, and two part B flat washers. Insert the screws through the stabilizer and hand tighten. Fully tighten the screws using the provided 6mm Allen wrench. Next, locate two Part 4 leveler foots and insert them through the two holes located on the bottom of the stabilizer. With some assistance, it might be easier to either flip or place the assembly sideways to access the bottom two holes on the stabilizer. Fully tighten and secure the leveler foots. Next, locate the right upright assembly, Part 2, and repeat the previous steps. Attach the stabilizer and leveler foot as previously shown. Step 1 is now complete. Step 2. Removing the base from the barbell with curl bar assembly. Begin Step 2 by locating the barbell with base assembly. First, remove the barbell and weights from the base by slowly pulling them up out of the way. Next, locate the feet located on the bottom of the base assembly. Rotate the feet counterclockwise and remove both feet. Place them aside for now. After removing the feet, remove the hardware securing the base plate, part A, on the bottom of the base. Remove the screws using the provided 6mm Allen wrench and safely set the hardware aside for later use. After removing the hardware, you may save or discard the base plate, part A. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Make sure the two top holes are above the front tube, centered above the Bowflex logo, and that the bottom holes are below the back tube, facing downward. Step 2 is now complete. Step 3. Attaching the uprights to the base. Begin Step 3 by locating the previously assembled left and right upright assemblies. With some assistance, stand both uprights across each other, parallel and with some distance in between. Next, locate the base and place it on top of both uprights. Make sure the two top holes are above the front tube, centered above the Bowflex logo, and that the bottom holes are below the back tube, facing downward. Match the holes on the base to the holes on the upright plates and slowly lower the assembly into place. Secure the uprights to the base with the hardware that was removed in step 2. Insert the hardware through the bottom holes of the upright plate and into the shroud. Hand tighten the screws for now. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Next, locate two gussets, part 5, and place them underneath the base in between both uprights at an angle. Match the holes on the inner tubes of the uprights to the holes on the gussets, as well as the holes located on the bottom of the base tubes. 
Secure each gusset using two Part D screws and two Part E flat washers, one for each hole. Fully tighten the screws using the provided 3mm Allen wrench. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Next, go back to the previously installed hardware and fully tighten the screws on both sides using the provided 6mm Allen wrench. Finally, locate the media rack, part 6, and place it on center, right on top of the base. Secure the media rack using two part D screws and two part E flat washers. Slowly lower the media rack and match the two holes on the media rack to the two holes on the front base tube. Fully tighten the screws using the provided 3mm Allen wrench. After all hardware has been tightly secured, Step 3 is now complete. Step 4. Attaching the barbell, curl bar, and final inspection. Begin Step 4 by first placing the weight plates on the base. Attach the weight plates by slowly engaging the selection lip on the weights with the locking tabs on the base shrouds. Next, slowly lower and attach the barbell, placing it on center in between both weight sets. Finally, locate the curl bar and place it on the bar hanger brackets located on the center of the stand. Slowly lower it into place. Congratulations! Assembly of the Bowflex Select Tech 2080 Stand with Media Rack is now complete. Before using your stand with Media Rack, inspect your equipment to ensure that all hardware is tight and components are properly assembled. If your barbell with curl bar set was not pre-assembled, you may continue to the second half of this video. Otherwise, assembly is now complete. Step 1. Attaching the uprights to the front and rear base tubes. Begin step 1 by locating the front and rear base tubes, part 7 and part 8. Be sure to attach the uprights to the bottom of the tubes so that the Bowflex label, 7A, will be right side up after assembly. The center two holes of the back tube, part 8, should be facing up and the two holes located above the Bowflex logo should be facing down. Next, locate the right upright assembly, part 2, and the left upright assembly, part 3. Match the holes on the upright plates to the holes on the base tubes and slowly set the uprights on each end. Secure each upright using four Part A screws, four Part C lock washers, and four Part B flat washers. Insert the hardware through the bottom as shown. Hand tighten all screws and repeat these steps for the opposite side. After hand tightening all screws, go back and fully tighten the screws using the provided 6mm Allen wrench. Fully tighten all screws and secure both uprights. Step 1 is now complete. Step 2. Attaching the stabilizer, leveler foot, and gussets. Begin Step 2 by locating the two gussets, part 5, and place them underneath the base in between both uprights at an angle. Match the holes on the inner tubes of the uprights to the holes on the gussets, as well as the holes located on the bottom of the base tubes. Secure each gusset using two Part D screws and two Part E flat washers, one for each hole. Fully tighten the screws using the provided 3mm Allen wrench. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Next, locate two stabilizers, Part 1, and place them underneath the upright, matching the two holes on the upright plate. Slowly lower them into place. Secure each stabilizer using two Part A screws, two Part C spring lock washers, and two Part B flat washers. Insert the screws through the stabilizer and hand tighten. Fully tighten the screws using the provided 6mm Allen wrench. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Next, locate four Part 4 leveler foots and insert them through the two holes located on the bottom of each stabilizer. Fully tighten and secure the leveler foots. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Next, and with some assistance, turn the base assembly right side up. Finally, adjust the leveler feet so that the assembly is level and stable. 
adjust the height as required. Step 2 is now complete. Step 3. Attaching the base end shrouds. Begin Step 3 by locating the inner and outer holes located on the front and back base tubes. Next, place one Part 9 base end shroud on each end. Secure the shrouds using four Part A screws. To fit the 80-pound barbell configuration, place the shrouds on the inner set of screw holes in the base tubes. If the barbell will have the 40-pound weight upgrade, the 120-pound configuration, use the outer set of screw holes in the base tubes. Place the shrouds in the correct location, but do not fully tighten the screws. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Step 3 is now complete. Step 4. Attaching the adapter plates. Begin Step 4 by locating the barbell handle assembly, part number 10. Next, attach one part 12 adapter plate on each end of the barbell. Secure the adapter plates using four part D screws each. Push the plates into place and make sure the adapter plates are oriented correctly. The screws must enter the countersink holes on the back of the plates. Fully tighten the screws using the provided 3mm Allen wrench. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Finally, repeat these steps and attach two more adapter plates to the Part 11 curl bar handle assembly. After fully tightening all hardware, Step 4 is now complete. Step 5. Attaching the weight plates and barbell assembly. Begin Step 5 by first placing the selection set of weights, part number 13, on the base. Make sure the locking tab at the top of each base end shroud is seated in the selection lip at the top of the back weight plate. When placing the weight plates in the base assembly, be careful to avoid fingers or hands being caught or pinched. Set the weight plates into place. Make sure that the weight plates are fully seated in the base. Next, put the barbell assembly on the base. Ensure there are no large gaps between weight plates and all weight plate tabs are aligned and locked together. It may be necessary to adjust the shrouds. If required, push the shrouds inward and tighten the inner screws using the provided 6mm Allen wrench. To tighten the outer screws, it may be necessary to remove the barbell and weight plates. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. This adjustment is important for proper function and easier re-racking. If the barbell is difficult to re-rack after assembly, it may be necessary to repeat this process. Step 5 is now complete. Step 6. Attaching the media rack. Begin Step 6 by slowly removing the barbell out of the way by pulling it up and placing it aside. Next, locate the media rack, part 6, and place it on center, right on top of the base. Slowly lower the media rack and match the two holes on the media rack to the two holes on the front base tube. Secure the media rack using two Part D screws and two Part E flat washers. Insert the screws through the top holes and fully tighten the screws using the provided 3mm Allen wrench. Step 6 is now complete. Step 7. Attaching the barbell, curl bar, and final inspection. Begin Step 7 by first locating the barbell and placing it on center in between both weight sets. Slowly lower it into place. Finally, locate the curl bar and place it on the bar hanger brackets located on the center of the stand. Slowly lower it into place. Congratulations! Assembly of the Bowflex Select Tech 2080 stand with Media Rack is now complete. Before using your stand with Media Rack, inspect your equipment to ensure that all hardware is tight and components are properly assembled. The equipment must be examined for damage and repairs before each use. The owner is responsible to perform routine testing of the locking mechanisms. Worn or damaged components must be replaced immediately or the equipment removed from service until the repair is made. Only manufacturer-supplied components can be used to maintain and repair the equipment. If at any time the warning labels become loose, unreadable, or dislodged, replace the labels. Enjoy your Bowflex Select Tech 2080 stand with Meteorac. Brought to you by Bowflex.